Well now, BBC One hurtles through space and time. Come with us for the trip of a lifetime. Aliens, you have been warned. Christopher Eccleston is the new Doctor Who. That's not supposed to happen. And more excitement behind the scenes on BBC Three right now. It's Doctor Who Confidential. And the Doctor's back here on BBC One next Saturday at 7. This is BBC One. Now, just ahead of the National Lottery, a news report from Darren Jordan. Good evening. The former Labour Prime Minister, Lord Callaghan of Cardiff, has died on the eve of his 93rd birthday. In a statement tonight, Prime Minister Tony Blair said Jim Callaghan was one of the giants of the Labour movement, whose long and active life almost spans the history of the party he served so superbly. Lord Callaghan was one of the most remarkable Labour statesmen of his generation. He was the unique holder of the four major offices of state, Prime Minister, Chancellor of the Exchequer, Foreign Secretary and Home Secretary. He entered Downing Street in 1976 when Harold Wilson stepped down. He was sustained in office by a Lib Lab pact, but in 1979 his government was swept away by Margaret Thatcher's Conservatives in the aftermath of the winter of discontent, a period of prolonged industrial unrest. Well, our political correspondent Gitto Harry is with me in the studio now. Gitto, we understand tributes have been coming in for Lord Callaghan. Yes, from all directions. Even old polit political opponents talk of him as a decent man, a very honourable man, a man who stuck to what he believed in. And in Labour terms, of course, a very special man. The last Labour Prime Minister before Tony Blair, the only man Tony Blair could turn to for advice when he came into power. So a man who kept that faith alive, perhaps. What sort of legacy did he leave behind? Well, he was uh, Prime Minister for a short period at a difficult time, economically difficult, no majority, hardly a majority to speak of, and in the end, the big miscalculation, not calling a general election in 1978, went on, the winter of discontent lost, and his party were out of power for 18 years. But a lot of people feel that had he been Prime Minister at a different time, had he had the kind of conditions Tony Blair had, he could have been a great man because he had, after all, always been true to his roots and gone from those humble beginnings to the highest offices of state. Gitto, thank you. Well, there's more on Lord Callaghan's death throughout the evening over on BBC News 24. Our next bulletin on BBC One is at 20 to 10. Bye for now. This is BBC One. We're really sorry about this, but Mr. Holmes, he ain't arrived yet. <sighs> Here goes. Last Saturday night, we got a new winner on the show. He's Fraser Smeaton from Edinburgh. He's had a fantastic week in Sydney. In there, we got six new contestants who want to grab a bit of the jet set lifestyle for themselves. Well, you would, wouldn't you? Come on, Mr. H, where are you? Guys, thanks very much. Grant, how are you? How are you? The traffic. You wouldn't believe what it was like getting here tonight. Luckily, I bumped into a couple of folk who knew just how to cut through it. <laughs> Where are we up to? I've just been introducing the top of the show. Good, good, good. Let's go. And live from the BBC Television Centre in London, it's the National Lottery Jet Set with this weekend's Thunderball and Lotto Extra Draws. In the Lotto, another roll over. And for someone tonight, the chance to win the trip of a lifetime. Now, please welcome our very own time traveller. Pitching a lift in the TARDIS, I ask you, it's Eamon Holmes. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Alan. 